They came, they learned, they had courage. They became, became astonishing heroes. Even today, as we travel around the country and meet people, we're still surprised to find that there are folks who don't know about the Tuskegee Airmen. The aircraft that we restored, uh, we knew it was going to be a very rare example for an aircraft. Uh, the airplane began a nationwide mission of education and enlightenment, really, uh, to bring the story of the Tuskegee Airmen to light. There wasn't a, a huge history buff, but uh, that story um, piqued his interest just because they had to overcome so much, the original Tuskegee Airmen. Don spent most of his waking hours trying to infect other people with his passion for aviation. So now I was here, I got a phone call that Dad had an accident in the Mustang, and Mom just said we needed to come home. And beyond losing a member and beyond losing a teammate on the Red Tail Project, uh, we lost a great leader. These airplanes are an incredibly persuasive and effective tool to inspire young people. Don died uh, doing what he believed in. That was his passion and we would fail Don if we allowed the uh, airplane to um, not fly again. Well, I'm, I know Dad would have wanted it that way. And as a family, we'd like to see it fly again. Absolutely. The airplane needs to fly. this aircraft as a museum without walls around the country and we present our story and their story as America's flying tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen. Their story needs to be told again and again and it is the story of the heroism of a people.